prepare for a roller coaster of emotions and intrigue. Welcome to Flashback Recap. Hit subscribe and let's dive right in. At the beginning of the movie, Anna is playing her cello in her bedroom. Her stepfather enters the room. He sits next to her on the bed. Anna stops playing. The stepfather takes Anna's cello away from her. The man slaps Anna in the face. The man tried to please himself by being nice to Anna, but the heroine pushed him with her foot. The man fell to the ground and was seriously injured. Shortly afterwards, Anna was investigated for manslaughter. She told the court what happened. Anna's mother Darlene said that her husband had never raised a hand against her daughter. The girl was sentenced to four years in a reform school. Anna was taken to prison with the other girls. The inmates welcomed the new arrivals with enthusiasm. Prison staff examined the girls, gave them prison uniforms, and introduced them to the prison warden, Frank Barakan. The girls were placed in solitary confinement. Anna was placed next to Jenny. The girl was reading a book on her bed. The neighbor did not answer any of heroine's questions. In the morning, Guinea watched the sleeping heroine. She found the girl attractive. Guinea released the tension. Anna woke up to the sounds the neighbor girl was making. The women were then taken for a walk in the garden. Apart from the group of prisoners, there was Cody. She came over to meet the heroine. Anna was intimidated by her new acquaintance's intensity. She walked away. They met again in the canteen. The woman offered the newcomer friendship and protection. Cody said that many people had seen Anna's beautiful face. The prisoner pointed to Kira. The girl politely declined Cody's offer, but Cody warned her that her heroine action would have consequences. He tripped over Anna. Anna fell to the floor and dropped the tray with her lunch. The girl then stood outside the restroom. She was attacked by Cody and his friends. They taught her a lesson in the restroom. The camera had a blind spot. When Anna came to, she went to the nurse's office. The manager asked what happened to the girl, but our heroine kept quiet. Nurse Jane examined the girl's bruises. She advised Anna to ask Frank for help. Anna took the kind woman's advice. She went to her supervisor to tell him what had happened in the bathroom. The man told her about the pleasures of solitary confinement. He looked at the heroin file. Frank decided that she should take part in the prison talent show. The warden offered Anna a mutually beneficial relationship. Heroin ignored the man's hints. Guinea was waiting for Anna in her cell. She asked her neighbor about her meeting with Frank. Gein told the newcomer about herself. She had been in prison for five years. Guinea kissed the neighbor. The girls decided to relax. The next day, the prisoners were taught grammar. Anna was shown to class. Kira looked at her. During the march, she came to talk to the heroine. Finally, Anna was hit on the head with a ball. Guinea saw what happened on the playground. Um, Anna decided to talk to Cody. Joe interrupted the hero. The girls started fighting. A guard stopped the fight and threatened the prisoners with a baton. Cody approached Anna. Joe objected to their conversation, but Cody thought the new girl was not dangerous. The girls backed off and interacted. Cody said the heroine had to prove herself worthy of the gang. A short time later, the girls gathered in their cells. Cody offered the new girls a special drink. He came to Anna with a challenge. The heroine was supposed to provoke Kira into a fight. Anna went to the common room. She tried to push him away but was kicked in the face and fell to the floor. Cody recorded the fight on his cell phone. Security guards separated the girls. Anna was taken to the detention center. She was told to take off her clothes and was locked in a cell. After a short time, the girl was brought to the director's office. After a while, the girl was brought to the warden's office. Frank said that the heroine must please him, otherwise he would return her to solitary confinement. Anna was forced to agree. Afterward, the girl vomited in the shower. New friends consulted the heroine. She got a tattoo on her forearm. Cody offered Anna to share the pleasure with her, which would help to relax. 
heroine told her friend how her life had changed in the last month. Cody promised to protect Anna and she liked the way her friend smiled. The girls decided to relax, but they were not released. The guards called for them. Joe entered the cell while the girls were getting dressed. She didn't like the relationship between Cody and the new girl. The warden took Anna out of the girl's cell. On visiting day, Anna had a visitor. The girl was sitting at a table in the common room. She saw Kira arguing with someone. Our heroine was surprised to see her mother. She still believed that Anna had deliberately hurt her stepfather. Darlene thought her husband was a good man. Anna told her mother that she and her stepfather had a special relationship. The woman beat her daughter. The security guard warned her. Anna was angry with her mother for not taking action. Darlene knew what was going on all along. She ignored her. The heroine asked her mother not to come to her anymore. The girl told her new friend everything. Cody supported heroin. Kayla suddenly tried to attack Anna. The girl reacted quickly and did not attack. A fight broke out. The guards separated the inmates. Anna was taken to the warden's office. Frank locked her in a punishment cell with heroin for two weeks. He gave her a chance to relax. She wanted to get to know heroin better. After the isolation, the girl showered again. She showed aggressive behavior in the cell. Anna hit Gunie, who immediately asked her neighbor for forgiveness. When the guards examined the prisoners, they noticed a bruise on Ginny's lip. She said she had bitten her lip. The guards took Anna to the warden. Frank sat her down at a table. He gave her a massage. After meeting the boss, heroin negotiated with Cody. The girl no longer trusted Cody and a fight broke out. Anna went for a walk and met her neighbor Jay. Jay made no attempt to communicate with heroin. Anna went to Camille's house and wanted to relax. Cody found out about what Anna had done. She got angry with the girl. No longer was the heroin protected by her friend. While Anna was taking a shower, Keela decided to get even with her. Her. Kayla entered the shower room with her gang. Kayla beat up the heroine. Anna went to the nurse's office. The nurse was worried about the girl's condition. The next day, Anna found Camille. Her new friend helped her relax. She brought back memories for Anna. The girl lay down on the playground and rested. The heroine got another tattoo on her arm. She continued to see Camille often. Anna vomited in her cell. Jay advised her to see a drug counselor. Anna got angry with her neighbor and left. Heroin went to the common room. She saw Kira and decided to come out of the gloom. A fight broke out. The guards used tranquilizers to calm the prisoners. They put heroin in her cell. The warden decided to help her. In the cell, Anna threw up again. Cody tried to talk some sense into heroin, but heroin wouldn't listen to his friend. Oh, Cody left. Guinea supported her neighbor. She put Anna to bed and helped her to relax. Gein wanted to help her neighbor deal with her addiction. But it was hard for Anna to control herself and she went back to Camille to feel better. Cody saw her friend and interrupted her. Anna threw a tantrum. The warden ordered the prisoners to lie on the floor. E. Amberchin Heroin was threatened with death by the warden. The man tried to calm her down. Frank appeared on the set and tried to help the heroine, but Anna knew the price. The man offered her a month in solitary confinement. The girl was neutralized and locked in solitary confinement. The heroine asked the hero to let her out, but no one came. One day, she broke the tray with her food and injured herself. The guards noticed her body and called a doctor. When Anna woke up, she was tied to a chair and had a mask on her face. Dr. Han entered the room. The heroine was sent to the ward. The doctor asked the girl a few questions and removed the mask. Anna convinced him that she didn't actually mean to hurt herself. Heroin was sent to rehabilitation. The nurse recognized the girl named Jane. Jane removed her handcuffs and sat down to talk to her. She told her what happens to people who ruin their lives every day for a morsel of happiness. Uh, in the afternoon, Anna sat in the hall and thought about her life. A nurse came to support her. Up, a nurse. 
Anna asked to see her mother. A short time later, the woman visited her daughter. Darlene apologized to Anna and promised to go to the music hall with her daughter when she got out of prison. The prison warden called Anna into his office and told her that he would remember her as long as she was in the colony. No one but the heroine could leave a mark on his face. Uh, Anna apologized and asked for her protection. The girl was taken back to her cell. She tried to erase the heroine tattoo. Guinea started talking to her roommate. Anna wanted to know why the girl was in jail. Jean stroked Anna's cheek. The next day, heroine was eating in the canteen. Cody and his gang were sitting at the next table. The girls showered Anna with food. Keela approached Heroin to start a fight. Anna was mopping the floor. When a woman security guard approached, she took her to Frank. The man prepared a cell for Heroin and tried to prepare her for the talent show. Anna was crying. Frank encouraged her to go on stage the next day. Anna sat on the set. A girl threw a threatening letter at her. Anna didn't know who was threatening her. In the evening, the girls from Cody's gang caught her. Her friends were very angry with Anna. They beat her, cut her face, and stepped on her toes, making her unable to play the cello. She visited Frank Heroin at the nurse's station and promised to make amends for what Cody had done. The nurse noticed that the overseer was interested in the girl. When he left, Anna tried to talk to Jane. She was afraid the nurse wouldn't believe her, but the woman believed her and promised to help the heroine. Frank watched the women talking on the video camera in his office and pretended there had been an accident on the stairs. Inmates pushed Jane down and beat her. The warden helped the nurse. The woman came to the warden's office. Fred pretended he had nothing to do with it. Jane realized he was lying. When the nurse left, Frank ordered her to stay. The woman was attacked in the locker room. Anna saw what happened to Jane. She was taken to the supervisor's office. Fred tried to convince the heroine that the nurse had been destroyed by a jealous Cody. Soon after, a talent show was organized in the prison. The inmates enjoyed themselves. Anna took the stage. She was going to play the cello. The warden liked her act. After the event, he gave her a cell. The man kissed her and told her he was putting her in the parole program. Frank advised the heroine to take off her clothes and said he wanted to have fun with her on stage. In her cell, Anna told her neighbor what had happened. Jay advised her not to trust Frank. In the next scene, Anna caught up with Cody and Joe on the stairs. The girls knew about Frank's plan. Cody gave his friend a cell phone and wished him good luck. In the morning, she went to a man's office and he told her that he wanted a beautiful woman to please him. Frank hoped that this beautiful woman would please him. On the appointed day, there was a meeting about Anna's case. The committee questioned her about everything. The heroine told them that she regretted everything. Frank also spoke at the meeting and at first praised the girl, but soon said that Anna had legal problems and it was impossible to release her. Right? The chairman wanted to refuse the girl. The heroine stopped the man. She showed the tape from Cody's cell phone. The chairman took the phone. Frank approached the man. He wanted to take the phone with the video the girl had taken. The guard led the inmate out of the gym. The chairman asked the officer to detain Frank. Anna was given an additional hearing. The board approved the heroine parole. Anna said goodbye to her roommate and thanked her for her support. On her way home, she ran into Cody. The girl asked Anna for forgiveness. The guards released heroin from prison. Anna's mother welcomed her as a free woman. The movie ends with Anna performing on stage. The girl plays the cello.